If you have been a follower of our channel, then you probably know that we have reviewed several smartwatches from the past. Nearly all of the review devices are cheap or affordable. What you didn't know is that I've been using an Apple Watch SE2 for myself, meaning I have an idea of what's it like to own and use an expensive smartwatch. And yes, I don't regret buying an Apple Watch for myself that costs almost 20,000 pesos. As for the Keyselect KS Mini, it's another cheap smartwatch from a global brand. As of this video, this costs 2,000 pesos in their official stores. I will provide the links in the description below for the shop link as well as the discounts if there are any. But this isn't your typical cheap smartwatch. This is a mini watch that uses AMOLED instead of LCD. So right off the bat, the screen quality of this watch is bright, colorful, and reasonably sharp. Apparently, this can reach up to 1000 nits, which is brighter than most smartphones nowadays. Although I don't have a tool to test the claim, all I can say is that this is visible outdoors in broad daylight. The build of the watch is entirely made of plastic and comes in blue and black colors. You do have a speaker on the left side that's okay in terms of loudness, but you still don't want to use it when you're outside in a loud environment when you're in a call or not later. And you have a function, or rather a button function on the other side. The design of the watch is okay. It's even IP68 rated, so it's got good protection against water and dust. But what I hate here is the rubber band, or rather the rubber strap. I do like the fact that the band tucks away so that there's no hanging end like expensive smartwatches. But it's really a challenge to tuck it in because of the cheap rubber material. As I said earlier, there is a speaker here, but this isn't made for listening to music. This is for playing notifications and calling. If you didn't know, the KS Mini supports calling via Bluetooth 5.2. And while it worked very well for a cheap smartwatch, I would have been impressed if only the microphone wasn't positioned where your wrist could block it because the mic quality is actually really good. It's loud, it's clear, and not obvious that it's coming from a watch. The catch here though is that it only works on mobile numbers. So you can't use this watch for calling over an app like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. And if you're wondering, you can't reply to or text a message here. When it comes to software and tracking, this watch supports both Android and iOS devices through its key OS app. You can track the most basic things like 24-7 heart rate that tracks every 5 minutes, your sleep, uh, 60 kinds of workouts including free workouts, and even combat sports although there's no swimming for some reason. And you can also set set entire reminders for when you need to stand, wash, or drink water. While I have been spoiled by Apple's interactive high quality watch faces, there are a ton of watch faces to choose from from the KeyOS app. You can create your own watch face if that's your jam. The battery life of KS Mini is good for four to five days with my typical heavy use. And by heavy, I mean maximum brightness and consistent notification coming in every hour or less. Battery life has always been the main advantage of cheap smartwatches over expensive ones since they have fewer features to power. But if you need to charge, the magnetic charging cable allows you to go from 0 to 100% in 2 hours. And the software? It's not smooth. It's not that it's lagging, it's just that it takes time to respond to actions. That's really the real downside of this KS Mini and that rubber band, or rather rubber strap. But overall, that's what you get from a cheap smartwatch in 2023. The standout features here are the AMOLED display and calling feature. I noticed that those two things were rare last year, so it's good to see these features reach a more budget-friendly price point today. But basically, that's it for the Keyslet KS Mini. That's it for this one. Drop a sub or like if you feel like supporting the channel. As always, until the next one, stay safe.